This video is brought to you by BetterHelp. As three people proud to be in therapy, we are proud to be part of them for the month of November. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are here for the Loki Season 2 finale. John, how are you? I am terribly, voraciously anticipant. All right, let's see. Koi, how are... That's right, he's uh, running late. Koi. Of course he is. Don't worry, he'll be here, guys. Which will give us time to... Do a little shout out to everyone who has bought Real hey. Rejects merch at www.rejectnationshop.com. My guys, thank you so much. And ladies, for all the support you have been giving our way and looking good while doing it. We got shirts like Marvel Inspired, Space Babies of the Galaxy. We also got Marvel merch. John's rocking this Loki shirt, this other Marvel shirt. But we also got stuff like Pedro Pascal from Last of Us, Carrying Baby Grogu, Child Protection Services, my personal fave. But we also got Citizen Kang. We got who influences do influencers watchmen inspired we also got some ahsoka inspired tees we got more in development we got this america's ass from the boys universe that's another one of my personal faves and we got a whole bunch more either one that you buy is one of the best ways my personal favorite way for you to support the channel so thank you guys so much with that in mind leave a like on this video also another thing to thank you all for for supporting the channel thank you so much for becoming super sexy rejects that's where you get the full length reaction watch along where you sync it with your own copy of Loki, and we also cover several shows exclusively over there with reaction highs and watch alongs included. Alrighty, guys, let's get into action. You ready, Koi? That son of a bitch. Ooh. I don't notice anything different about the music. Nothing. What are you talking about? Echo? Backwards. Damn. Good catch. Cool. Huh. They're all disappearing. Whoa. Into the comics we go. This is <laughs> trippy. That was cool. Into the pen and inkiverse. Oh, I'm going to miss this show. Yeah, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, buddy. Time to be brave. Is he not telling them? Hey. Is it right now? Yeah. Got it. Grab him. Ready? How long will he have? Not long. Oh, oh, about boy. this radiation level, it's even worse than when I was out there. Speak up, Logie. More. What if we just repeat all of episode five? That's yes. the whole episode. <laughs> oh, different angle. Okay, so we're not just fixing things. I think he has to see how it failed. What could we have done differently? We took too long. Oh. <laughs> Go back to episode one. Again. Faster. They are just gonna... He's gonna, gonna come yeah. to bargain. Okay, okay, no time to argue. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Get down the gangway, load the multiplier, hit the green button, launch it, and get back. Okay. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how much failure there's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Instant. Poor timely. What happened? He's gone again. Go faster. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is really the mastery of time. Miss Minutes. I know right now you're hurt and you're angry. Finishing <laughs> <laughs> the throughput multiplier. Faster. <laughs> Just in the middle of the nefarious <laughs> plan. Oh my god, that's awesome. I wasted time and now does time waste me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, before we even got through the doors. I wonder what number we're on. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Steps? No. <laughs> oh, that skeleton. Again. Can you time slip to like he who remains? <laughs> this is Ouroboros. Guess what? The TBA handbook, you both wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> so this model is not finished, Obi. What are you talking about? It's absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. So it's like an improv game where they want you to speed it up. Why? Mm. Because you volunteered. You did. You will. <laughs> and you know how the multiplier works. I, I, It'll make sense. It, it will sense. make sense. I love how we've had franticness so much of this show, and now we're having fun frantic. Yeah, it's like joyously frantic, not as <laughs> tense. Obi, how long will it take me to know everything that you know about mechanics, physics, and engineering? Oh my god, <laughs> he's going to become a genius. The god of story is getting all data. But I'm a fast learner, and I'm a god. Yeah, you are. How long would it take? Decades. Centuries. Commit. 
This is like a Doctor Who episode. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is like a Doctor Who episode. Uh, look, here, I'm not questioning your surprisingly advanced engineering skills. <laughs> <laughs> Centuries later. Now, it looks is that lethal. It is absolutely safe. Watch this. Okay. Look. <laughs> I'll take those. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> when you're ready. Chop. Chop. A man in control. I love how this really does feel like Loki show. We have to move fast. Who's it gonna be? It's him. It's you. You volunteer. <laughs> what about the IMD cup? IMD cup is fine. No, it's not gonna overheat because we're gonna allow it to interface directly with Tiny's adaptive exponential computing system. It would allow the loom to scale the capacity to manage the backlog of branches. Tom Hunt Hillson doesn't even know what he's talking about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> he said centuries. It's like watching someone do Shakespeare. It's beautiful. they are like, I don't know what you're saying, but I get because you get it. Don't forget to latch his helmet. Let's latch his helmet. Thank you. Thank you. Does this picture TV live? Latch. <laughs> He is becoming the king of the TVA. If you stop, you die. <sighs> oh, shit. Whoa, boy. Five episodes leading to back to being in the Loki show is interesting. Mm. Oh! Yes. That was such a great yes. cut. That pause was perfect. Come on, buddy. I load the multiplier into the launcher. That's it, one step at a time. You gotta keep going. Be brave. You're being so brave. <laughs> <laughs> Many times have you given so this God. talk. So God. Listen. Be brave, you're, you're being, being so, so brave. brave. <laughs> that was Tom hilarious. Tom Hiddleston is so good. <laughs> one foot in front of the other. Everything he needs to hear. Before you know it, you'll be at the end of the gangway. What a guide. Well done. <laughs> the looks on everyone's faces. The nonchalance of the direction. You made it. Not yet. Yeah, seriously. How many times have you gotten this far? Do not put the multiplier down. It will roll off the gangway. Victor! Come on, there buddy. it is. There it is. Come Push on, through. Buddy. Come on, buddy. It's just time itself warping you. He who remains wanted Loki to be in control. That's what he offered him at the end of last season. Uh -huh. This is all still him in control. This is all still he who remains plan. I feel it. It's all still him watching, too, like right here. Push. Turn. There it is. Oh, come on, bud. Hit the green. Green. Right. Listen to me carefully. I love how there's no music. <laughs> Something's bound to go wrong. What about that other green ish? The, the bluish green? It can be a little sticky. Blue <laughs> green. Yeah! Oh my god! Yes! The POV. Get back! Back! Yes, come back! I love you, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful man. Go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> the joy, the relief. Now let's watch Victor become a villain. Yeah, and now. He is Kang. <laughs> we did it, team. <laughs> oh, wait for those doors to close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Pumpkins. <laughs> Pumpkins. What do you see, Obi? It's working. He did it. Wowie. Cool. It's working right now. Really? It's working. <laughs> <laughs> got his arm around him. What an antithesis to the last season. Yeah, <laughs> truly. I mean, he spent centuries with him. It worked. Oh, no. It's still too much. How can the loom be overloading? All these great lens flares. It's not possible. Gosh. We increased the throughput. I'm legit feeling the frustration right now. Mm -hmm. The handheld is so perfect. It's so subtle. But there are just too many branches. It's still like an ocean through a water hose, just a bigger water hose. The branches of time are duplicating and expanding. Uh huh. Infinite. Great. Oh boy. It's a scaling problem. Uh. Bailoom will never be able to accommodate for an infinitely growing multiverse. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean. 
I love how the setup of the multiverse is feeling malevolent. No matter how much we increase the throughput, it will never be yeah, enough. Enough, never enough. Yeah, because you'll just have to always keep increasing the throughput. If it's infinite. As soon as the timeline started branching, this was doomed to happen. Doom? <laughs> yes. Dr. Doom? Loki, don't go back. <laughs> Nothing you can do. All right, what's the singularity? You might as well just have fun hopping through time. Y'all did your best. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't need to be sorry, man. You only just learned about this like yesterday in your time. <laughs> and you did great. Oh. <sighs> bring so him back. They're gonna bring back he who rem Yes. <laughs> oh shit. That's what Kang probably wanted the whole time. Stop. Is this reshot? I can't tell they look great. I felt what you feel. <laughs> Ooh. Wowie. I wonder if he who remains will know. What's happening? You're right. Oh, this is eerie as hell. What were you thinking, trusting me? <laughs> Put him right up against that framing. You must not follow through. It all ends if you do. I've seen it. I've lived it so many times. You've been seduced by a throne. The last thing I want is a throne. You'll have to kill me. Does he kill Sylvie? <sighs> I mean, you can just keep time slipping back to this moment. Yeah, he's come to bargain. Why don't you figure out a way just to incapacitate? incapacitate. Yeah. Not what you were expecting, hmm? <laughs> don't tell me I'm a disappointment. Not even he who remains can anticipate this, huh? Or has he? <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. You have to kill me. I wonder how many times he has seen this. Uh, if you want to stop me, you'll have to kill me. Come on, you can figure out a way to not kill her. Why do you never try to stop her? Fight back. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Let Could have stopped it the whole time. How many times have you been at this? <laughs> See, he knew. Oh, come on. You're not telling me you haven't learned how to pause time. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just... Uh... Whoa. Holy balls. This is crazy. <laughs> He's conquered time. This isn't the first time we've had this conversation. How did you know? I know about the slipping. <laughs> and who do you think paved that road? Any guesses? Of course. He who remains. He's got a one theory right this whole time. Thinking you were you were sticking it to the system, gonna beat the man, and then whoop! <laughs> there he is. It's <laughs> interesting to see him capturing this kind of handheld. Did you really think I was just gonna sit back and let her kill me? <laughs> and that be it? Zip, nada, RIP, HWR? <laughs> Reincarnation. Baby. It's right there in his name. He's he who remains. Yeah. We die with the dying. We're born with the dead. Uh-huh. Okay. So, uh, this is a lot for you. <laughs> Why don't you just go through this a couple thousand more times? Get your bearings. <laughs> you just let me know. Okay? When you're ready to have a conversation. Oh, just have the conversation. Now. Reminds me of Lucifer in Supernatural now. Such a fun way to play the character. <laughs> He figured out how to do it. Once he knew it was possible. And what makes you think this is the first time we've had this conversation? Booyah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You're my favorite. You know that. When there's two of you here, you were my favorite. <laughs> Seems you figured it all out. Hmm? Huh. Interesting POVs. How is Victor t t t timely? You're, you're having some, some, some problems with the, the temporal loom. <laughs> Pretending to be a mind Jesus. reader. Scaling problem, that's what he told you? Victor told you it was a scaling problem. Wow. <laughs> the temporal loom is a failsafe. Deletes everything except the sacred timeline. Huh. In a TVA, well, that's just, that's just collateral damage. No, no biggie. <sighs> no Easy big. to rebuild. Oh, wow. What a waste of time. <laughs> 
<laughs> nope. My variants are already out there. There's too many. I won't stop. Doesn't matter. They're in a coliseum. In one place. They're all together. But the outcome to this equation remains. Good choice of words. It remains the same. The song remains the same. Shake it off. It's interesting being back here where this room is lit so much more by the fire yeah. as compared to the last season. Mm, it definitely suits the season's vibe more. I'll change the equation. You did just do all that math and physics learning. But the loom prevents a brutal war where nothing survives. Loki. Not even the sacred timeline. But how does this tie into Echo? <laughs> Peace you've ever experienced. I was here. What do you think would happen to your friends? How much far ahead does I he know? The tough choices. Everything. That's why I get the big chair. <laughs> big boy chair. Can't you see what I'm offering here? But what was the purpose of this? For me, or for you? I'll find another way. Thor. Yes. We'll do the okay. we'll do oh God help me. What is this? And around and around <laughs> and around we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. Break the loom and you cause a war that kills us all. Or game. Killer. Scales. And we protect what we can. Ooh, the trolley problem with your variant that you love. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Great cut. Wow. How far back are we gonna go? Play out scenes from my whole life, how it's all meant to be. Burden with glorious purpose. He said it. Okay, it looks like someone got a hold of the set list. <laughs> how do you choose who lives? And who dies? This is all an origin for God of Stories. It was the proper flow of time. There's no comfort. You're not going to find comfort at the TVA. <laughs> a couple of hunters went out on a mission somewhere near the Black Sea to find a variant who's going to be responsible for 5,000 deaths. Interesting. The variant is an eight-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. Slaughter the eight-year-old boy. <laughs> so it must be done. He had never hesitated, but that day... He did. It happened so fast his partner had to step in and prune the kid. Oh no. That is a tough decision. Damn. A couple hunters died. All because that one hunter, he lost sight of the big picture. Who's that hunter? Most purpose is more burden than glory. And trust me, you never want to be the guy who avoids it because you can't live with the burden. Yeah, buddy. Great way to use his line back at him. How do you live with it? I love how this is mirroring so much of season one right now. What happened to your partner it's not even like a mirror it's a question things worked out fine for her she actually became a judge oh, Slayer. Oh, man. she knew the hard thing to do was the thing that had to be done oof damn it no there's no comfort you just choose your burden there's no comfort you just choose your burden that's a poignant ass line he went and got back to get advice from mobius is so beautiful he made that hard choice. Oh, woof. <laughs> Into the void. There's nowhere left to go. Man, the meticulous cool. mapping out of this. <laughs> Serious credit to the writers on this, man. Yeah. Map this out. Structurally is nuts. I finally learned to control the time slipping. I went back. He's so weary now. It was designed to protect the sacred timeline and nothing else. I'm out of options, Sylvie. Oh, jeez. The only way that anything survives. Is if I never kill he who remains in the first place. Sylvie might have the answer to this. So you have to kill me. Yeah. Unless you could go back and convince yourself. <laughs> I would She's simply be able to go it. back now. You know, maybe he can just like take her with him. That's not how time still people. It's not how the force works. It's the sacred timeline or nothing. It's not enough to protect the sacred timeline, Loki. Damn the consequences of our choices. I grew up in apocalypses, Loki. I've lived through enough of them to know that sometimes it's okay to destroy something. But everything. But every uh... <laughs> if there's a hope that you can replace that thing with something better. These POVs just make me feel like they're talking to us. It's so mm -hmm. strange. It must have been so hard to act at with the lens. <laughs> nah, 
there's a grander plan. Why would he who remains want this to happen? He's definitely still in control. I just can't figure out what his goal is. And he's becoming God of stories, but we're ultimately watching the narrative of he who remains. Right. This at the <laughs> end of the day is the Kang <laughs> power story. This is incredibly sad. The burden. <laughs> he's been burdened with glorious purpose. Yeah, I love that they brought that all back to this. If he goes out there, he can't time slip back, can he? Open the door. Okay. What are we doing? I know what I want. I know what kind of god I need to be. Oh. One who serves the people. For all of us. For all time, always. Whoa, absorb all of time. Wow, dude. It's gonna Holy be naked shit. at the end of the thing. Now this looks like a comic book. Oh, he's oh, back in his comic yeah. outfit. Yeah! Damn. That was sick. Wow, that's awesome. Woo. Yeah! Yes. Here come the horns. Oh, how striking. Whoa. Magic. It's the Richard E. Grant version. Almost. <laughs> Whoa. That's all I had to do this whole time. So there is no sacred timeline. It's just Which is web. how we get Fox and Sam and Neely. Look at that. Wow, they look so tangible. It's actually cool. Everyone lives. Or are they like necro timelines now? We can actually touch the branches. <laughs> he is a god. Wowie. He is a god. So what's happening to that part on that timeline where he's gripping it? Yeah, what just happened when he just enchanted it? Was there like a natural disaster? Ooh. Cool. How are you going to power them all? Damn, this is some truly sci-fi shit right here. <laughs> We've entered Lovecraftian territory. Where are the Elder this Gods? Is cosmic horror now. He's like a full <laughs> Norse god now. There it is. Whoa. Indiana Jones. <laughs> Jehovah starts with an eye. <laughs> Man, it's like an Asadra B strong. That is beautiful. Wowie. Whoa. Whoa. Show sure enough. I love how it's this green magic rippling through all of it. Wow. Ooh. Nice stretch zoom. He's making his way to the end of time. Let's sit and watch it all from here. Oh. These visuals are fucking dazzling. Yeah. Why do they look better than a recent Marvel movie? By a lot. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Just tethered through all of it. His cape this is part is like, of time. Like a painting. Wowie. Beautiful. With that operatic, godly music. Is too. he the man at the beginning of time? And Victor Timely's at the end of time? Does he represent the stories that begin and he like watches over as they end? Whoa. <laughs> the hourglass fades into obscurity. Jeez. Sit on the throne. That's what he's always wanted. 
Now do a pectoral fly. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Go to the first Iron Man movie now. Yes. Back in black. <laughs> oh, where we're gonna land? Tree of Life. Yeah. Oh, we're on Pandora. It's the mixture of the colors of the purple and the green. Yeah, making it roots in a tree. That was stunning. <laughs> After. <laughs> Boop. Let me know if you need anything. Oh. Oh, things going over here. Talk about restoration. Miss minutes. <laughs> Are we sure she won't try to kill us all? It's <laughs> a <laughs> risk I'm willing to take. So OB made Miss Minutes. You okay? I got those reports on the variants of he who remains. Oh boy. I guess one of them caused a little bit of a ruckus on 616 adjacent realm, but they handled it, so. Learn about himself. Oh, it is a good reminder. Those who do not remember the past are, you know, better off. <laughs> not doomed to repeat it, certainly. You're leaving. You think the TVA is going to miss a tired, washed up old analyst? Yes. Yes. We will. I think there is one or two who will. You're the best MCU character. Gotta go see what exactly it is we've been protecting. If you ever want a seat in there. Yeah, if you get sick of those kids, they need you in there. <laughs> Hug it out, or at least get some pie for the road. Look how somber, man. Were you scared? Oh, oh yeah. That's okay. good. It's good. You want to be scared. You want to be uncomfortable. This is how big the room looks around them. It's just so funny how the start of the season of TVA just seems so goddamn threatening. Now it just feels like family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People picking up the pieces. Oh. First edition was yellow. Where's Victor? They put him back. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, is he not going to get it now? Dropped off Playboy 1974 edition. <laughs> <laughs> the Victor timely became here. a sex addict. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, at the end of time. It's like some ethereal, ponderous Alex Garland shit. It really is. <laughs> Look what you can make, Marvel. Look really, what you can become. I really feel like it's got that dark heart of Aronofsky laced throughout. Now everyone she helped prune is going to be there waiting for their pound of flesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, snap. Oh, that's a cool reveal. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Oh. The Ouroboros. Good thing she landed right there. Elioth. This really does look like Ohio. Loki said he could be placed back exactly where he was left off at. Oh. And now it becomes a Wes Anderson. The yard could do with a bit of work. <laughs> Prune it. No. Christ, it's the best house on the block. <laughs> never look, never know. It's my policy. Where are you going to go? McDonald's. The train. Back to work. You? Yeah. I might just wait here for a little bit. Go ride your jet ski. Let time pass. <laughs> just actually feel time. Should do a season three where he kills this other version of himself. Takes so over. Takes so over. Yeah. <laughs> Realizes he hates these kids. Yeah. <laughs> he made a horrible mistake. <laughs> let time pass. Just feel time. Just stand in Be. the river and let it wash over your ankles. Be in the moment. Oh, Loki's listening. They're braided. Like Norse braids. <sighs> Wowie. I 
love this triumphant music. That was so cool. But still, still minor, still somber. Yeah, it's a very sad success. Melancholy, after, man. The day after a triumph is as hollow as the day after a tragedy. Man, Aaron and Justin are going to make some beautiful Daredevil. That was some somber heaviness. That variety article is full of shit. That was a great finale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it I say the finale was bad? I thought they were in trouble or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, Marvel's up. It's done. He's at the beginning of time. I, I, What a beautiful arc for that character. They somehow made cosmic and time so grounded. Like, that's my exact... That's a comic. Because I usually say I prefer grounded stories and characters, but when you can do this big and ground it... When you've got the emotional grounding. They don't even know what Loki did. They don't know what he did exactly, do they? I suppose they wouldn't. Oh, wow, well, no post credit uh, scene. Just we get letting to just it focus live. On this. <laughs> no trailers for nothing. Feels like the antithesis of a lot of recent Marvel stuff. Nah, letting a story breathe talking. and not having it set up on other things. Don't be sexist, Coy. I know. What a sexist. <laughs> also, somehow racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, just cover all your prejudices. I mean, while we're here. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, it seems like it'd be very lonely to be the god of stories sitting on that throne. And then all these people having to get in touch with their identities and their feelings and how they... I think we all know where we're going with this. Guys, before we talk about this, I want to be selfish and just... Sit alone in your throne? Yeah. Yeah, get her. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Story. Oh, there it is. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've literally just finished a therapy session, and I wanted to shoot this because I'm in this state of knowing why I champion mental health support so much. In the past few weeks, work's been a little bit hectic. It's led me to miss some sessions, and I really don't like doing that. And sometimes that's when the weight really starts to pile on. A lot of restless nights, a lot of fatigue, a lot of I can't sleep even though I'm so tired, and sometimes just a very deep-seated sense of gloom. And yeah, every time this time of year, I get the seasonal blues like many of you. Meditating and sometimes journaling are my daily go-tos, but sometimes they just don't cut it when I'm trying to pinpoint why I'm down. And really, especially after a session like today, therapy just really helps clear the fog. Discussing the feelings is a critical step for me, especially as someone who's diagnosed with ADHD, type two bipolar, and PTSD. It's truly a cornerstone of my well-being. And I'm not alone in this. Many of us here at Real Rejects are in therapy, facing our own challenges from depression to anxiety, or just needing a non-judgmental space to voice our thoughts. This year, I've been working out most days of the week to keep my physical physical health strong, and I really do champion therapy as a way to strengthen my mental resilience. And for many, BetterHelp is integral to that process. There's real value in BetterHelp's accessible and adaptable service. They match you with a licensed therapist and provide the option to switch if necessary, ensuring the right fit for your mental health journey. As this year winds down and we confront life's complexities, do consider BetterHelp as a resource. Really happy to be partnered with them this month, so you can go to betterhelp.com slash real rejects for 10% off your first month. Again, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash real rejects so join us in moving forward stronger together thank you again all right thank you to better help for sponsoring this video okay um wow i thought that was a really impactful finale uh very very strong uh, i gotta get coy out of here and i gotta edit so there's nothing really more to say i'm sure john likes it he likes everything and coy uh, it's like this loves everything yeah yeah likes like loves this before and then yeah. you've got to hate it because of us yeah to yeah, give I the gotta, flow i got a nitpick yeah and, i mean that, oh, so it's a sneak preview a balance are you saying you're the god of stories in how <laughs> yeah. we review? are you writing the story of our reviews <laughs> yes um but no coy why don't you quickly explain what the God of Stories is. So I love the story of the God of Stories because it actually mixes in with a meta narrative without actually being meta. So in the meta narrative of Deadpool, for example, or She-Hulk, it is approaching the fourth wall or breaking the fourth wall, acknowledging the reader. In Loki's use of the fourth wall, it's actually acknowledging the House of Ideas. And the House of Ideas is what they used to call the bullpen, the place that Marvel wrote their stories. The House of Ideas was the concept of creation itself. In the Loki story of the God of Stories, they made the House of Ideas a, a tangible, finite element, which he was the first one that was able to remember his visit to the House of Ideas. So throughout comic history in this story, other people had visited the House of Ideas, but no one had remembered. So Loki made a deal with then and now. These, these abstract entities of pure storytelling and in making a deal with then and now and upon remembering the House of Ideas itself, he is able to make things real by way of remembering them and telling them as a story. So he's able to articulate what reality is by way of him planting the memory, him manifesting it, and then him 
actually creating it in real time. So it's rapid creation through the powers of then, now, and the House of Ideas itself. And so this was the visual manifestation of that, of basically he's the one at the beginning of time controlling the timelines because he's the one that needs to monitor and create like pure creation. So my interpretation of this is that Kang is the destroyer by monitoring and thinking that's the answer he's at the end of time not a destroyer in the literal sense but that it's the it's the the atrophy the, the 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 dismay the decay of time he's at the end of time whereas loki with the green and the lush and the other side of colors is at the beginning of time which is why it's an after period for the tva so so he literally is creation and in a way he uh kang is destruction by being the conqueror of something so now there's a more giant more abstract ouroboros yeah, that's beautifully put. Wow, you did that very efficiently. Thank you. Well done. Sir. Yeah, that was not an easy story. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was like, I was like, like I'm a little worried how I'm going to get through this <laughs> dense, dense thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, but in the context of the story of the show itself, I think they, they, they don't ever call him the god of stories here. No. I mean, it, this is kind of the origin of it, but they don't. We haven't seen him storying it up yet. No, no, no and he's no. burdened with that glory. It's like I love the glorious purpose, like cycling back because before it was his arrogance of wanting to have purpose, his arrogance of wanting a throne, and through that burden he became malevolent. And I love that now he's burdened with glorious purpose and the weight of the throne. Yeah. So his burden and that speech about purpose is so beautifully an Ouroboros. Yeah, and burdened with glorious boredom. You yes, know, I can imagine that. how. I mean, while being in touch with the timelines and seeing every single story that is unfolding, you know, God of Stories allows for a bit of a narrative control, and it's interesting for Loki to be a villain who has arced into this ultimate power following a comic book arc. Yet, he is the um, benevolent uh, counterpoint to right. to Kang, and. Is this something, I mean, there's always a conversation about they need the balance, they need the antithesis. Do you think he who remains still wanted this in the end? I think that it always had to occur. Otherwise, there's no creation. Yes. I think this was this always a all thing. a path that mu- like was made to happen. There was no alternative. See, that's, I loved this season a lot because this committed a little bit more. I can imagine there could be things about, like, I want to rewatch it already because I'm like, I feel like there's probably a thing or two that I probably missed. I want to watch season one and two together. Yeah, yeah. And as I love the dovetail of how both of these really connect very well, it tells that multiversal angle where a lot of it is when you hold a mirror up to yourself, it's not just multiverse cameo. Look, this person is played by this person instead. I've never like, not wanted Deadpool more. <laughs> like this, huh. this ver- the, the way they did this, it wasn't even necessarily multiverse. It was more time travel, right? Um, but it told the, the concepts of multiverse, the thematic things of multiverse that I love told through this time travel story, this narrative. Mm-hmm. And watching how every character comes into confrontation with their own choices, the weight of it, the, uh, the, the basic point of accountability i would yeah. say you know, well, yeah. like, where along in the tandem of action and events is the fulcrum point of all these situations yeah, yeah. it was beautifully told because it's very it's very philosophical and it's a, a lot of it is a head scratcher and i like the i i think there's a level of bravery they decided to take because part one only kind of touches on something that could be a little difficult to grasp yeah, and I think here they left a lot up to you. Really got to pay attention. This I was time. worried I couldn't explain it, and I've read it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they really make you pay attention very very close. Where you can you kind of pick up on some of the details, but I imagine this is the kind of ending where people will be going. What is the ending explain? I need to For know. once, I, I think yeah. this merits some videos on it the is, internet saying it does. <laughs> like it's a it is a very <laughs> complex and, and you know like the word dense is often thrown around when it just means a lot yeah uh, but it's more than just meaning a lot like that it is it, it is really con- deconstructed through its core the theme and discussions throughout and i love that we also still did get moments of reference like the you know 616 adjacent being the quantum realm with, Woo! it seems like Woo! easter egg it seems like kang will go from that version of himself as he remains to being not that particular one but a variant was referenced as being like a one linear path so i'm really curious will we i mean a court decision pending but will we see he who remains <laughs> <Kang>? like, will <laughs> we see that will we see that version of him again if things 
uh, shine in Major's uh, favor and, and justice is in, in his side of whatever happens. Wow, he could explain um, the God of Stories really well, but then this subject... I'm scared <laughs> of what the future will say about the thing, and if I'm on the wrong side of knowing. <laughs> I'm the unknowing God in a chair of pink. <laughs> you know, it's just time slip back to this moment yeah, and say like, something nah. different. Yeah. And as justice prevailed, <laughs> and things were due and I have a landed. feeling the verdict will go this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll note I gave no conclusion to that ellipses. Uh, but I, I'm curious, uh, storytelling-wise, if we'll see he remains again, if Kang, as instructed, it would seem they're doubling down on that Kang being our Kang, um, because you know they asked about another variant of him. It's just a beautifully open story while still giving closure. Yeah, I mean, it's like what I love about the He Who Remains uh, is that, like... In some versions of King, King's more of like a time. Like it's it's funny how he's being pitched in the MCU as like this multiversal thing, but he but he's I think he's more associated as like a time traveler, and a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, a weirdo time he's traveler. Like, yeah. pops up to me, I just, I was like, that's a weird guy. He's and then that book I recommended yeah. you, I was like, oh, I get yeah. this weird guy. But, like, even, but one... even in that, he's a time. It's more of time yeah. traveling, but everyone's kind of associated with the multiversal stuff, right? Yeah, because of how he's been pitched in the MCU, and I. I think what what's so cool about He Who Remains is like while he doesn't don more of the classic look as we saw in Quantumania, he is sort of like the uh, ultimate Lex Luthor of sorts. Just it's just a brain conglomerate, the genius that we crave from Kang. And when he shows, I'm like, man, he is the ultimate threat. Like we need a, I do think we still need that singularity of a threat. Of like we need at least one king to latch onto as that's like prime <laughs> king that we gotta fear, and then multiversal king seems scary because we got this guy. Yeah, you I know, agree. and and I feel like when he who remains is there, just that power of knowledge and foresight, and and navigation and patience, you know, um, is so great. And I just like again I, I, the opposite, the mirroring that they did, but going back to season one, the POV shots, like you kept mentioning, like I, yes. the, when they were like talking to us, when it was like, yeah. "Hello, Loki," giving a monologue at me, I'm uncomfortable because yeah. it's supposed to be. It was so good. How do you feel during it, John? Oh, I mean, I was. It, it's a very emotionally kind of rich. I don't know. They cast such a pall over everything, and there is such kind of a somber, baleful tone throughout it and it's interesting because this does feel like the end of something and the start of something but this exactly. i like that they left it all on the table <laughs> in that for for the first time i am actually quite pleased there was nothing after the credits not even a loki will return for right now this is the end of something and i am saddened by that in an appropriate way but i appreciate that because it really earned just yeah every Heart swell, every heart skip of, of a beat, you know, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss so many things, but I'm also fascinated to see what this becomes, yeah, <laughs> and inspires. I think this ties Downey's Iron Man as my favorite arc, landing like going sure. from the the mischief arrogant to the god of stories in his throne that he doesn't well, want. Well, I love that it's such an ironic tale for him. Right. Yeah. Like this is this is completely ironic. He <laughs> creates and he wanted to destroy like, and like he matured into creating. Like yeah. he gets the true burden of leadership. Like it's so lonely and then the most physical manifestation. I know? love that it's Joss so Whedon wrote like cursed with glorious purpose because yeah. it sounded cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean he's just I mean it had a purpose then, but now it has a purpose. It has a real it's purpose. Title of the damn episode. It, yeah. It's he's he's lonely at the top. And he, it um, real leaders normally don't want to be the real leader. He keeps rejecting throne and power throughout this season, and he just has to take it unwillingly. And those horns we we all mentioned yeah. separately as like they they felt tangible. They had weight. The crown looked heavy, and those horns heavy. felt like they were against him. But yeah. part of him, I loved when he had like the garb just manifest. But then it just felt so like. It's natural, but yeah. man, it looks awful. Like it, was, it looks yeah. awful to wield. I thought it was really multi-layered in its emotion, its emotionality. Like it was beautiful, but it was also very tragic. Yeah, it was um, empowering and hopeful, but also incredibly sad. Well, and it starts <laughs> off know? in, in such a. F I think it was smart to start with a very fun kind of timey wimey thing where it's like oh he's going just back to different points and he's like rushing through it and he's like okay chop chop business as usual you go down the thing and then we oh we try again and i'm gonna spend a thousand years learning stuff like it starts off in a very sort of fun place for this kind of story that's like it gives you your cake up front mm, that's and, a good point the uh, pacing is a really good point and what i will say too uh one thing that i've often said throughout this season <laughs> about loki's personality 
of I kind of miss some of that fun side of Loki. Mm-hmm. Seeing who he arced into by the end of this, I'm like, oh wait, that actually works really well. <laughs> like yeah, you wanted. Yeah. I remember episode three. You're like, I miss fun Loki, and I was like, I think we'll either get him back yeah. or it'll earn it. And like I was hoping it would. I didn't think it would go here. Yeah. But this really earned the season. This th- this episode was Loki the show because of the rest of the season yeah 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 like we all hoped yeah I but i never would have imagined this story because they were just kind of pitching it was like serious tva agent but the way they took it to like a new epic height and in a, in a very ethereal way and in a manner that you kind of wouldn't expect but it still feels like we naturally got Had here, to get here instead of just going like big action scene or like it, it's a big debate. Yeah. <laughs> After it, big debate. And I love how this it's <laughs> end season mirrors season one in such a way of just like the the revelation. And again, that Ouroboros effect of what you're talking about, of how last one ends with the he who remains. You do bring he who remains back, but he, he essentially ends up becoming the opposite version of he who remains. Yeah. But so still fulfilling a similar role. Like, wow, what a powerful affect. And stepping out of time itself. And I really like what you said about the pacing because I think the frenetic pacing in the opening made the end somberness feel so much more like you're tired. Yeah. Like we had to go like, oh, oh, and I'm tired. I'm glad that was yeah. one episode. Like it felt yeah. so good as an hour of just like, we lived through a lot because he he did briefly become super TV agent. He did briefly yeah. like we lived it it's this, in this. Yeah, it's this like vibrating, you know, shifting thing that slowly kind of finds its way and then calms to a you know steady resolve. And basically. I didn't want to talk like the, that and, gelatinous phase. I was yeah. just like, whoa, yeah. that was so stunning. Yeah, it hits you in a different way. Uh, again, beautiful music throughout. I really appreciate the craftsman shit and. Craftsman shit. The craftsman shit. <laughs> craftsman shit. The craftsman shit that they throw yeah. down. That shit they Beautiful craft. house, that craftsman shit. Yeah, no, the, the way they craft uh, together, it, like the story of this is really, that's really hard to write something like this. Like mm-hmm. structurally, I could just imagine that whiteboard uh, or, or like all those index cards. I cannot <laughs> imagine. You, it's the Charlie Day for sure. Yeah. When and, they're mapping this season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like this really feels like a complete, this felt like a showrunner like through this one together yeah you know? and season one and two felt like it was all a plan and it was literally a different yeah. team i love that it, season two is a whole different squad i'm like how did you do this from that like you guys found seeds that you seems like you planted you weren't there to plant yeah. them it's just funny how you like, loki in you have you have the marvels out right now where i think that even if you like it i think the general consensus is that it's messy Everyone says it. It, it. it also really represents a lot of Marvel's problems, the, the problems that we all have. But the people who like it had fun with it. And this is the and, same day. And, yeah, and it's just kind of crazy how you have the juxtaposition. You have an horror force <laughs> with real <laughs> chaos and decay and atrophy. You have, and what story uh, creation can be. You have, like, yes, this one is not as fun. Nowhere near. It doesn't aim for fun. But damn, is it, like, composed as shit mm-hmm. from every aspect of filmmaking to storytelling and acting. All of it. And pacing, added uh, every every nugget of what someone on set is required for, before, during, and after, it's all present here in a way that speaks so such loud volumes. And then the other one is, but it's fun, you know. Don't <laughs> and, let the MCU decay. And, and it's it's so interesting to get both sides truly <laughs> <laughs> the same week. I would be fascinated to know how this. And this doesn't even have a sorry. It's just funny. Like this doesn't even have a post credit scene. It's the and, opposite. And the, the other, other one. Like, Let's just talk about the post credit. The other one has such an important post credit scene. It's such a messy film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It makes me curious how they <laughs> made sad. this because this doesn't feel like you could have done like modular reshoots and stuff like that. And I'm this sure this is the first one of that reshoots without no reshoots on the show. That's that that's it shows sanity. It shows they yeah. pro- they locked this those scripts tight. ahead of time. And hey, maybe they had some stuff with the earlier TVA, you know, mutiny bit. But like, yeah, it really feels like they locked everything and mapped this out ahead of time. Yeah, there's yeah. no way to go back and like, let's check that. No, no, this is done. This is buttoned up. Yeah, I love how they brought it back to how he's a god and what uh, and what a god with power can do. It's well, like yeah. it's about responsibility. <laughs> you well, <know>? And realizing <laughs> that, yeah, it's it's not defining what that means and then inflicting that on everybody else. It's just accepting what it means to be in that position of 
godhood. <laughs> All right, Koi, uh, you got to get out of here. I got here. a boogie. I got to edit, uh, but can you wrap us up in 30 seconds what you think this ending means for the future of the MCU, I especially think, Echo? Uh, I mean, obviously Echo's next, so it's going to tie in. Loki's going to open the season and go like, oh, you're <laughs> uh, It's, uh, I believe, in 30 seconds. What's going to happen is we're going to have I want the, the elements. <laughs> so destructive of my own joke being so offensive. Um, the idea of opening the show uh, as we go further, the, the narrative show that is Marvel, I do think we're going to see elements of the god of stories not directly represented. I think there is a chance we'll see him in Secret Wars. I think there's a chance we see him briefly in Kang Dynasty as we see time unraveling and like time being conquered, but I wouldn't count on Kang Dynasty necessarily. I would assume Secret Wars. It'd be a big moment. It'd be a big pop, and he's so overpowered. He's almost like a celestial, like um, like yeah. a living tribunal. I could see him on the plane of the gods that are more like the ones we met in Elemental, I mean, uh, um, Eternals. The more like that level of god, so I could see it in Secret Wars, but what I think is going to happen going forward is we see Kang depending on how the story goes be introduced in more narratives and we build to how we've met time unraveling working for Kang being on so many disparate parts we see how powerful it is in different places but the big thing for Easter egg hunters is all those timelines mean Fox, Sony, all those things. Yeah. So we're going to see that this unraveling and the keeping instead of the decaying, the not pruning is allowing these universes to collide. So the only thing we're getting for a film next year is Deadpool. The events of this are how I believe Deadpool is going to relate. I think Deadpool can travel through them because of the time yeah. turner. But I think because of what just happened here, they're colliding. So incursion events are going to be timelines visualized by planets and dimensional folds because of the end of this episode, which is beautiful because it is actually what Feige promised with the stabbing of Kang. That is what started all of this because that's what had to not happen in order for this multiverse to occur. So that Ouroboros is now complete, but the launching point into the collision of all these things is where we're going to start this next phase. They should end this phase here and call that the next thing because it's a lot cleaner, but they haven't had a map for a little bit. So I Got think <laughs> Deadpool is the beginning of the unrest unraveling of the events caused by the end of this here and if kang gets to stay it'll be him uh building power setting up to kang dynasty and then ultimately secret wars where we might see loki again amen to that that was well done dude that's crazy i how, love comics it's crazy how he became like yeah how he just he, he wanted to be a dictator and he ends up becoming the exact opposite he becomes yeah. a benevolent <laughs> yeah. god of yeah. creation he just wants people to have free Lord. will yeah it's just so funny and i love that yeah. he wears green the color of creation like there's yeah. so much beauty in this yeah and then with it with the opposite of like king's colors his like, colors are purple and, and it's it, like the purple inverse and green too and, and yeah. the tree of life yeah. being purple and green yeah. like the flowering Which purple king's the colors too you know god damn it's yeah. good tv all righty guys uh that was brilliant i love that um what did you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below. What was your favorite moment from this? Thank you, Koi, for being here. Guys, thank you for being, joining us. I'll catch you all soon.